Today we're continuing on our drawing skill builder. So we're adding a section for rubbings, which you probably are familiar with, and then hatching as well as cross hatching, which I will show you in just a sec. So with our rubbing, that's where we take a texture plate and we set it underneath our paper. So, you know, maybe I'll just draw a couple of shapes. Um, this can be done with just about anything. And I'll do this texture underneath. And then I'm just going to carefully do that rubbing inside that shape. Now you may notice that some texture plates work better on one, uh, one direction than another. So for example, let's see how this one turns out. It looks kind of bumpy when I do it on that side, but when we flip it over, it looks more like um, kind of like a textury hair or grasses. So you can kind of see which, you'll have to figure out which um, side looks better. Uh, now, I'm going to put a little bit in my, do another one in my star shape. So we kind of pinch and rub along the side. Sometimes I pick it up a little bit if I'm going into a, a tinier corner. All right, so rubbings. You can also do that with, um, you know, like a colored pencil. Sometimes you can use the side of it to get a little bit um, of a rubbing. Let's see. So I hold my pencil a little bit differently and then rub along the side. Okay, you could also do that and blend some colors together if you want to overlap. So it's kind of taking our blending, putting them together with our rubbings. All right, now for our hatching and cross hatching. You can do this with um, a colored pencil, you can do it with a regular pencil. So first, hatching is kind of simply lines. And we can use this to do shading. So if we do them a little bit more spaced out, it's gonna look not as dark. If we do them really close together, it's going to look darker. So um, the same thing can be done with cross hatching. So cross hatching is where we do hatching and then we crisscross and go another direction. So again, if we do them really close together, it's gonna look darker. If we separate them a little more, it's gonna look lighter. So if we use this on a shape, I'll use my hatching, kind of go around the side. And then where I want it to be um, like a darker shadow. Again, like my light source is up here. And then if I want to cross hatch that, I'm going to turn my paper a little bit. So I'm going to go this way and cross hatch. And I can even go back in if I want this to be even darker and kind of hatch the other direction. So I'm wanting to get a little bit darker. So I'll go closer together in this area. So I'm doing these with each with little lines instead of actually shading like we had done before. And there you go. You can keep working a little bit, but again, this hatching and hatching gives us a little shadow. Uh, here's just another example 
Um, so again, using my texture plates to kind of create a little scene and using them to enhance my picture. Uh, and then, like we mentioned, the hatching, cross hatching, and then using it on a shape. So I spend a little bit more time on this, uh, so it gives you another example on what you can do with it. Now it's your chance to practice.